any other year, Xander Bogart could be a top marquee free agent. And not to say he isn't, but in all reality, he's kind of like the third best guy on the board to most people with Carlos Correa and Trey Turner both available. And then there's also Dansby Swanson, big fish like Aaron Judge. This free agency, as we already know, is crazy. The 99 finest Xander Bogarts is going to go on shortstop for the Atlanta Braves. Are the Atlanta Braves going to bring back Dansby Swanson? Do they throw money at Xander Bogarts otherwise? Maybe they let Vaughn Grisham play shortstop. A lot of people think that's how things are going to go. All I know is the Atlanta Braves have one of the best cores I have ever seen. They're towards the top of the league in payroll right now, just behind the New York Mets. But their money is extremely well spent. They have superstar talents like Ronald Acuna, Ozzy Albies, Matt Olson, Austin Riley on very team friendly average annual value salaries, which is going to allow them to continue adding to this team for years to come. On top of that, they keep spitting out even more young talent, number one and number two in the rookie of the year this year, Michael Harris in center field. Pitching for me in this game is going to be the 97 overall Charlie Morton because he's the only guy that has energy out of the pitchers that I have. Obviously, the Braves have a phenomenal core of pitching staff. Soroka even could potentially come back at some point. The NL Rookie of the Year, Spencer Strider, Kyle Wright, Max Fried, Kyle Mueller coming up through the pipeline. It's the bullpen where they already have Rysel Iglesias, AJ Minter, Tyler Matzik. They could add to that this offseason, but we're throwing Charlie Morton in this one. Now, personally, I think Dan Dewey Swanson's the perfect fit. He's the Georgia boy, but that first pick overall status, that college prowess, he showed up on the big stage for the Braves. He will sell jerseys. He's got a little bit more to his value than just that OPS that people like to look at and say, oh, well, he's a, a slightly above average player, but a streaky player. He's not worth all that money. Dansby Swanson has a little bit of star power. He does. Not to mention, I just love Dansby Swanson. He shows up in the biggest stages and he's been doing it his whole life. I, have, I would love for that guy to be coming up for my team in a playoff game. We go on the road and we got to hit the parallel four flashback lightning, Chris Sale. Let's do it. I'm coming off a tough loss in that Yankees video. Michael Harris inside out's a sinker for a leadoff hit. We are in Citizens Bank Park for this game, ironically enough. Ripped down the line. He does cut it off, throw it to third. Yes, he threw it to third. He had a chance to get me in second. It'll be second and third with nobody out here to lead off this game. We need runs early. We struggled to get base hits in that last one. Now, first pitch sinker to Matt Olson pops straight up. Ozzy Albies base knock. That's not just gonna score one, it's gonna score two. I could have got to second too. I should have went. All right, two nothing here in the first. We terrible pop of Matt Olson, but Ozzy Albies comes through. Nice block behind the plate, keeping that double play intact there. It's gonna be 2 0 on Austin Riley. Tried to start us with a fastball up. Let's see if he just goes right back there for a strike. He didn't, but we're going to get another hard ground ball for a base hit. Two on now with one out. All kinds of hits flowing in now. It's like the RNG floodgates decided to tilt back. Let's cash in. One big swing here, Eddie. Bang! Ripped into the gap. That's going to score at least one. It's going to be a double. I'm going to... I'm sending them. Send them. Send them. Send them. Send them. Send them. Yes, sir! 4 nothing in the first inning, and there's only one out. Here we go. Eddie Rosario cashing in. This feels fantastic after that Yankees game. Get down, ball. We are on everything. He was deep out there. I think I'm going to send him to. I'm going to send him back. But we're going to advance up the second on the throw. Second and third with one out here. Travis Darno did get in. He just got in there, but he got there. Here's Ronald. Ronald. That jumped off the bat. Not quite going to go. We're going to try and score here, though. now let's use everything right away let's use everything right away Austin Riley will make the first play of the game defensively because this is a championship series player with good averages and stats on his cards he's probably gonna get his fair share as well let's keep him off the sheet probably have him at least a little bit frustrated right now with that five piece would be nice to have a quick one two three inning here beautiful curveball good take it's three one Let's go curveball out over the plate here. And he goes yard. Well. 
Kind of called that, huh? Batting force 65 with George Brett. And he'll fly out to end the first. But it's a 5-1 ball game. We win the frame. Michael Harris got some lift on that slider. Barreled it up. But we were out in front. That kind of killed the exit, Velo. It's going to be the first out for Michael Harris. I am batting like 9 for 15 with that Michael Harris going into that at bat online. Here's Xander Bogarts. Oh, tough play. Got over the pitcher, but got us to chop that change up. Quick one, two, three inning for him. He needed that after scoring one. Jorge Polanco hit that fastball very well. That was the. He just must be unlucky with Jorge Polanco. It's the only bad batting average on his team. I don't blame you, though, man. Barry's one of those guys. It doesn't matter what the stats are on Barry Larkin. I can't get it going with his swing. Ground ball to first. Matty Olsen, one of the best gloves in the business. Ralph Kiner pops up a fastball, jammed him there, and we get a quick one, two, three inning of our own. Let's keep it rolling. I'm okay with this game speeding up and moving fast now. Matt Olson now, ground ball up the middle. We were again out in front of the off speed. The barrels are there, but I gotta let it get deeper. There's a good rip. Perfect, perfect, right when we need it. Gonna have him out of the stretch here with the runner on. Eddie Rosario with a base hit up the middle. That ball's ripped. Back-to-back -back singles with two out. Travis Darno hit that ball hard. Out to right and it's off the wall. It'll be an RBI double. It's a 6-1 ball game. He was just a couple feet from a three-run homer. He went back upstairs to that fastball because I was just late on the previous one. But that ball was crushed. He's going to go to Duran out of the bullpen now. Got underneath of it. Get out of play. Get out of play. Yes, we'll see another pitch. It's 0-2. <laughs> it's so bad. We score one, we strand two. We're up to nine hits. Let's keep pitching. Batting 484 with Posada too? Come on. It's a beautiful sequence of pitches, but it's gonna take Michael Harris and a lot of speed to get that ball. Not give him anything he could potentially get a hit on, but he does hold up his swing to see another one. Gonna make me earn it a little bit. Good pitch, got him, beautiful. Paint, yep, he wanted to take to brush off that last swing, but now he's down 0-2. He's got himself in a, men a mental pretzel now. 1-2, fighter straight down. Looks like a fastball down and in out of the hand and run from him. Good pitch, good take, 2-2. Two, two. I need this right on the corner, Charlie. Nowhere but, that's not good, oh my. He just got on top, Xander will make the play. Ew, look at Xander, no, Julio beats it out. Tough to dot that pitch. There's a good slider again, 2-1. He's having a good inning here with his at-bats. Yes, got him. <laughs> he made a mistake on the bases. And why did you soft flip that? What, like what? What a take. There's no shot. How do you miss? It's homered again, it's a two run game. I mean, you knew that was coming. I mean, what a freaking sequence to get him back in this game. It's now a one run game. Finally. Scores four runs with two outs. Michael Harris now, all over a splitter out over the plate, hits it right at third. And we do find a hole there. 12-6 right down the middle. We're gonna take second with Xander Bogarts for a two out double. And we do find a hole there. 12-6 right down the middle. We're gonna take second with Xander Bogarts for a two out double. Pops up a first pitch fastball. Good curveball. Austin Riley can't make the play. Xander Bogart somehow does. That was huge. 99 speed, keeping him off, that's big. Julio smokes it right at Austin Riley. All right, now we know he's camping on that fastball in now with the righties. Two seam, wow, that went right down the middle. Perfect, perfect. He's gonna round third and come home. And he's out. What a throw out left. Keeps the lead. We have him doubled in hits. It would have been a shame if he tied it there. We're gonna pinch hit Morton. We need to score next. 
<laughs> Very first pitch, he misses right down the middle for a single. Whew, we're lucky that stayed in the ballpark. He was just out in front. Barry Larkin, that's huge. Three, six, three, a gigantic double play. Leadoff single doesn't hurt us. Ozzy, get down. Not quite out there. Off the battles like that might be gapped, but they're playing that shift. The right fielder is pretty much in right center. Here's Austin Riley. He's three for three. Behind him's Eddie Rosario, who's two for three. And Travis Darno is three for three behind him. This is the part of the order that's done the most damage. Already eight hits between these three. Let's get to work, Austin. Get to work, Austin Riley! His fourth hit of the game is a solo shot. Finally, we get a no-doubter animation to kick, and it feels like it's been two whole games since that's happened. Ooh, we're up to a cushion, an insurance run. I want more. I want more, Eddie Rosario! Give me more! See ya! He rage quit, we're up by three, and he goes! What a win! That was an electric game. I'm excited for the Atlanta Braves in 23, despite the fact that I'm a Phillies fan. I'm excited to see what they do in the offseason. If they were in any other division, I would be so pumped to follow along with that team alongside my favorite team, just because they have so much talent on that squad. And I have Ronald Acuna on a couple fantasy teams in the Dynasty League every year, so I definitely I peep the Braves. I hope they go over 400 against the Phillies, uh, but I do like the talent on that roster. They're a fun team. They're a fun core, and I respect the way they put that team together. They're doing it the right way. They're one of few teams that pays their star young players up front so that they don't have to deal with the arbitration process. Are they on low AAVs, friend, team-friendly deals? How do they get away with this? They're giving them pre-arbitration contracts. They're giving them long-term security before arbitration. They're committing money to these guys. Is it unrestricted free agent at 27 years old money? No, but it's, listen, we absolutely want you here all the way through arbitration. We don't want to go through that drama with you. Let's get something in place that just gets all that out of the way. Couple extra bucks for you, little security for us. They do business good down there in Atlanta, and that's why you see guys going to them early in the offseason every year. Not just going to Atlanta, going there early. Not even worry about negotiations, just getting it done. I'm excited to see what they do this offseason. Can't wait to see the Phillies beat up on them next year. Let me know what you guys think about the Atlanta Braves in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Destiny. Yeah. And you can see whatever from behind me, but I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know.